Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Last Stream on the PC. Last time, we explored the dwarven town of Devergar, up, got the final fishing baits for the ultimate fishing rod, so we can get revive fish and a bunch of other good fish type stuff, so I'm very happy about that. And we're just not going to bother with you guys. And then we came back to explore Devergar and found the dragon Tiamat in a blocked off cave so that worked out pretty good for us because we got a uh, magis ring out of it or minus a ring and that ring turned out to give extra gold so that's actually pretty nice and scorching axe get my paper up in here uh, I'm just gonna guess that this is of the Adamantium variety. Because pretty much everything down here probably is. And hang on one second. Alright. Let's see if we can't find some more stuff here. I think this is the middle path that we kept avoiding on our way up here. So, yeah, that's where we came from. I'm actually curious if there's a whole lot left to explore, really. We might have just got lucky with that path on our first way through here, and we might not have a whole lot to actually deal with. Yeah, this is still the beginning path, kind of. There's probably another puzzle room in here, something that we got to deal with. Let's see, part six. The bridge is collapsing. I think we've already been to this particular bridge. Or not. Okay, fair enough. And we're just going to ignore you guys. Godsend hat. And full SP orb. I care about the Godsend hat. Alrighty. Okay, got that. And what else are we missing here? Okay, so that bridge isn't going to collapse. Only a couple of them are. Fair enough. You'd think that more of these bridges would be less durable. And a warlock's cloak. We could check these out in the, the Dwarven City, but the odds of them actually being worthwhile, or not worthwhile, upgradable at the moment, Probably not very high. They're probably adamantium stuff, which the dwarves can't be bothered with for some reason or another. And a piercing bow, which I don't really care about, but whatever. Alright. What do we got in here? This is a puzzle area. Ah, fooey. You wear the red circles. So we gotta get what here? See, I'm not sure exactly where we gotta get this thing. It won't budge. This will though, right? Oh, it's one of those. Okay, so that's going the opposite. So if I go down, then I go that way, and then down, let's see, one, two, three, four. Right one, down one, and then, okay, three to the the other side. Did that work? 
I think it worked. Okay, cool. And then now we probably got to get these other rocks. And okay, which one are we going to control this time? You are right there. Let's see here. I think it's this one right here. Let's go down. No? I can't actually see. Something happened. And I gotta redo this other one. Ah, damn it, game. Why do you do this? You know I can't see what's happening here. Okay, so down three. And then... Over three. And then... Up one. And then... Okay. No, oh, I, think, I think we messed that one up. So I'll go down. Or... Yeah, go up, and then go that way, and then one more, and then down. Okay, so that guy is done. You, which one of these is actually moving? There are one, two, three. Let me make sure there's not a fourth one that I gotta find somewhere. Okay, it looks like it's that one right there, and that one is has a otter pattern. It seems like. Wait, where'd it go? It was like right there. Okay. Not that. Are any of you guys moving at all? No, you're not. Oh, okay, so it is still that one. I just, I just apparently got confused here. Okay, so if I go to the right, that goes to the left again. Okay. The heck? What the hell happened there? Okay, fine, we're just gonna do it this way then. If I go to the right... No, that doesn't work. Okay, this actually does work. So we go... Let's see, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. And then we go... Down one and then over again. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that should work right there. Okay, perfect. Now I can figure out which one of you assholes is moving. Okay, so that goes to the right when I go down. It goes... To the left when I go up. Down when I go right. Okay, so we need to go... Left few times here. If I go down, then it goes to the right, right? Yeah, okay. So, but if we go left and then left again, okay, that works. And then go up a few times. So, twice more up. And then to the, the left. And then... Dang! Ah, fuck. Hang on. Okay, I'm impatient and I have other things I want to do today. So I just looked up the solution here. So let's get to it. Okay, so we move the brown boulder east one, north seven times, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then to the east four times. One, two, three, four. That gets rid of that one right there. And now we go to the west three times. One, two, three. North three times. One, two, three. To the west once. and to the north three times again there we go and now we go south twice one two and to the east three times that's what it said and then east three times one two three and north twice and there we go Good riddance. My patience is not always as great as I would like it, so sometimes we gotta cheat, and it works. And we get... Adamantium shield and some other stuff. Uh, I don't think that shield is gonna be worthwhile at the moment, unfortunately, because it doesn't increase our attack power, but... Oh well. We will survive. That's another puzzle out of the way. And do I really care about you guys? Not particularly. Okay, so that was just the puzzle room right there. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, apparently there's not a whole lot left in this area. We've already explored the rest of this. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and ignore you idiots. And I think this is where we've already been right here. Yeah, I remember down here, I think. Okay, so we've already been here. So we've only got to explore that little middle path that I ignored near the beginning. And then we're pretty much done with the area. Okay, that actually worked out pretty good. Ooh, a vampire. Um, I'll fight these guys off screen just to make life easier. Alright, got myself another vampire thing. Those could always come in useful every once in a while, so we'll see. Actually, did we ever go through here? Probably. I just want to make sure, though. What are you hiding down here, Nivergar? Besides these guys, which I really don't feel like fighting. Oh, this is like right near the entrance. Okay, cool. So that means we should be... Almost explored here. I don't feel like we're missing too much. I mean, we've looped around through most of the paths, so we should be fine, I do believe. But somewhere over here, we've probably missed something. No, we've already been that way. So I think it was something over here that we possibly missed. And we might not have missed anything at all. I'm not sure, actually. No, we already went down there. Huh, maybe we haven't actually missed a whole lot down here. I feel like we missed like that little middle section right there, but no, we've already been over there. Huh. Well, I'm not sure what that's about, but okay. I don't think we went up here. Okay, cool. And razor edged shield, that sounds nice. Perfect. And what is this? Uh, another puzzle area. Is this... Is this basically like that area in... Yes, is like that area in... Uh, from a while ago. Well, fudge. This looks like it's going to be irritating. Like, really irritating. Eh, <sighs> okay. Let's try, I guess. 
I'm just gonna make as much as I can green for the moment and then go from there I guess okay so all that green and then we have some of the top that need to be red Okay, so kind of like that right there, and then there was two more over, okay, let's see here. Kind of like that, I think. No, not quite. Kind of like that, but not really. Uh, let's see, and then there was... This one right here, red. A couple down there that were red, I think. Yeah, that's fine right there. But then we also need to go some of those and like that, I think. No, we needed to go the top one. There we go. That needed to be red. Okay, so that's all red. I think I think all the reds are. taken care of, I think. Okay, let's re-establish the greens. That red... Okay, so that red needs to be the last one that we do because that needs to be red right there. Okay, so... I think I'm seeing it here. Hang on, those, are all four of those red? Yeah, all four of those are red, so I'm gonna have to delete one red at least. You know what? Screw it. I'm not going to bother with this. This is a pain in the ass, and I don't think it's... Let me see what the reward is. Okay, so it's some of that Saint gear that we've already got from the dwarf shop, so we can just buy it. I'm not terribly worried about it. Okay, so that means we're pretty much done with the mines at Avergar. I'm not going to bother doing that weird color puzzle. Let's just go ahead and warp out of here. And then probably head over to that little area that I saw on the map and see what that's all about. And I'll probably just meet you guys over there. Alright, we're here. Let's see what this is. This is the Abyss Lobby. Okay. I'm assuming these are like, yeah, okay, healing pools, save points, awesome. Ice cool, and it's a weird scarecrow looking thing. Another warrior, my master wishes your presence in the cave. He offers a chance of riches in exchange for the probable forfeit of your life. Would you like me to explain the intricacies of the Abyss? Very well, the Abyss is the home of my master. It is where he has banished centuries ago by the elves. His presence has here creates a powerful field that distorts reality. When you enter his lair, you will always enter at a weakened state. Also, you may not take any weapons, armor, or items with you into the Abyss. They would disintegrate under the distortion field. It is only with this orb that I give you that you wish that you yourself do not disintegrate. There are special treasures inside the cave which are resistant to the distortion field and that may be taken outside of the abyss. They are held in a special green chest while all other, all other treasures are held in red. Treasures of red will disappear when brought outside the abyss. You may wonder why I'm telling you all this detail. When my master was banished by the elves, he was cursed to always speak honestly and therefore you must know the stakes if you are to enter into his lair. Therefore, he offers a small chance of treasure in exchange for your likely death and subsequent consumption. 
Lastly, to make the challenge a bit more sporting, once you enter, you may not leave at every fifth, except at every fifth floor. If you do leave, you must restart at the very beginning. Uh, let me change real fast. Uh, by, by change, I mean save. Alright, let's try it. So, we're gonna lose all of our levels and equipment and such. And they give us four tattered cloaks. And we're back to... We're back to very weak here. Okay, might as well optimize everything, I guess. And then, what about accessories? None. Okay. And then they probably took off my took all my fish, right? Yeah, you bastards. Okay. Let's see how this goes, I guess. So ice bombs. I think I said green were the ones that stay, red were the temps. Completely heal HP and MP. May use this restoration point a total of three times. No, I'm good. We can wait. By the way, what are what skills do we have? None. That's great. Actually, so we gotta we gotta relearn everything in the cave. It seems like that's a shame. Okay, luckily you guys are weak. But apparently you guys have enough health to survive, so... Okay, fair enough. This might not be a good idea to try on Legendary here, but we'll see how it goes. Feel free to not kill me here. And you did, okay. Is that going to be revived by... This right here. Yes, it is. And that means you're behind on experience there, Black Mage. That's a shame. Okay, antidotes and friendly salts and muscle relaxers. Potions. Okay, cool. So it's basically like a little challenge type area, it seems like. Well, what do we got? SP orbs, so we can use that for some abilities, I guess, if we need to. Fire bombs, eye drops. Okay, so they said the healing point lasts three times per. per floor, which is fine. So we'll probably do what we can here and then head up to the next area. Okay, that works. You guys all die. That's fantastic. Is there anything else I missed here? No, it seems pretty straightforward. It seems like it's mainly just going to be combat oriented. So we'd have to like rebuy all of our skills again. That's kind of a shame, but whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and kill you. And hopefully you don't absorb ice, because that would really suck. Okay, you appear, you appear to be weaker to ice. And you guys are not going to level up anytime soon here, that's for sure. Okay, I'll try to get a level off screen real fast and I'll be right back. Alrighty, <clears throat> I got a level here. And for skills, the thief and the engineer do not have any points to earn anything. Like, not anywhere near close enough. So that's gonna kind of suck, but whatever. For the mages, if I give them a few, if I give them a couple of those tiny SP orbs that we got in here, they can at least learn a basic spell. So we're gonna do that. So let's give one to the white mage, one to the black mage, and go from there. So let's go ahead with let's see, learn probably just regular cure just for 
healing purposes because that'd be useful for you. And then for you, let's just give you something like thunder just to make life a little easier here. Hopefully that works. And get our final heal out of that. He did say there was like, what, 50 floors or something in here? So that might be kind of a pain to get through this place, but we'll see. Fire ring. Okay, that's actually permanent, I do believe, because it's in a green chest, right? Okay, we protect against fire damage. We'll give that to the healer just for reasons. Some th thunder bombs, awesome. And more SP orbs to get some stuff here. And we're at goblins now. Okay. You guys just attack. You don't do a whole lot at the moment besides guard. No, actually no. You can go ahead and use a wind bomb. And you use a thunder bomb. Because we're still on legendary difficulty here, we're going to be taking a lot more damage from these guys because our equipment is crap. And also, they're not doing a great job of giving out great experience here, unfortunately. But at least we can heal ourselves now, so that's nice. Where is... That's the exit down. Oh, I didn't actually go. I didn't actually go down this way, did I? Yeah, there's some wolves. Okay. Unfortunately, those holy bombs are useless since we can't actually attack anybody with them. Oh well. These bombs, however, are perfect. And yeah, we're not going to get a whole lot of experience out of this for some time, it seems like. Alright, White Mage, I'm going to go ahead and have you do some curing here. And we have some small potions, so let's use those as well. Okay, cool. And let's see, that is not the way down, I don't think. Because that was the way we came in. So, where is the... Where's the floors to the next area, then? Huh. And I didn't raise any pre. I just raised defense and HP for everybody, and then a little bit of uh, either attack or intellect for whoever needed it. I didn't actually bother with pre. Okay, so no, the, the, the stairs down disappear, and so you end up going to the next floor. Okay. Oh, I got a pitchfork. Uh, can you actually use that thief? I don't think you can. No, you cannot. Nobody can actually use that pitchfork. Actually, how is the worn whip compared to the rusty dagger? They're the exact same. Except for rusty dagger has less weight. Okay, fair enough. And a wrapped bow. We can give that to... Let's see, Warp Bow versus Wrap Bow. Eh, two extra attack power. And then compared to the Worn Whip. I thought you could use bows, no? Okay, fair enough. Looks like you get the Wrapped Bow then, Engineer. And a actual dagger, that'd be nice. Okay, nice extra attack power there. So they're going to give us... Equipment upgrades every couple floors here. It's just not as great as I would like, it seems like. There we go. That's healing point. And we got some ghouls. 
And I think we are mostly out of... Yeah, we're out of potions. But you know what? We have holy bombs. So you guys guard. You use the holy bomb. And that should take these guys out. That kind of hurts like a lot. Okay, calm down there, dudes. Okay, well, everybody except for the thief gets a level, so that's nice. And I'm gonna have to use this, aren't I? Okay, cool. Okay, oak staff. Robe. Shield. The way down, that's nice. Oh, okay. good. Oh, we got some copper boots. Sometimes they give extras in the chests. Not always. If they do give extras, it's very welcome. So we see the exit already. We gotta deal with these idiots. Uh, okay, you go with the spider. You go with the other spider. You go with the holy bomb. And you thunder one of the spiders, please. Yeah, we can't just merch on everything anymore. That's a shame. You know, when I said hit the guy, I meant actually hit the guy. Not miss. Ah. I'm gonna miss my attack here, aren't I? Yeah, probably. Huh. Well, he hit it at least. That's nice. Oh well. Okay, you attack, you attack, you heal, and everyone survive, please. It doesn't seem like they're reducing the requirement to get any levels in here, so... They said it was, what, 50 floors? That means we're probably going to have to grind at some point in here. And this seems like the type of place that you leave and all your progress gets erased. So that would kind of suck. Yeah, let's heal you. And let's do a quick level up here just for assistant giggles. Um, we need attack and defense for you. Perfect. And then give you a pre... Awesome. For you, we need defense and intellect. Even if you're not going to be using it right now, you will. You will eventually. And then same for you guys. Everyone wants defense and intellect. I kind of want you guys to be able to survive attacks here. Uh, okay, defense, there we go. And pop on some equipment, just optimize everything here. You know what, let's change that out for a tor torn robe, and you don't need the leather shoes, the white mage does. Okay, looks like next episode we're going to try to get a little further in the abyss and hopefully make our way out of here. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.